Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's Rog here once again and today I'm going to show you how to cook the most delicious turkey drumstick. I've been looking forward to this for some time. I've cooked them before and I will no doubt cook them again. I find that really tasty. Well, here it is. And doesn't it look a beast? So stay tuned into this video right to the very end. You won't be disappointed and maybe you'll cook one for yourself. Now we're going to need all of these ingredients here. It's crazy, isn't it? We're going to need some of this. Black pepper, some sea salt. Here I've got some garlic powder. God, I love that stuff. Just about a teaspoon will do. And the same as this, about a teaspoon of this paprika. Now there's our drumstick. That's a good price too, isn't it? Firstly, we'll open this up, get it out of this plastic wrapping. There we go. Now, you don't have to do this. Some people disagree, but I'm going to give it a bit of a wash and then pat it nice and dry with some kitchen towel. There we go, both sides, get all the moisture off. Get a drop of cooking oil, paint this over. Should be painting my shed, really, but I'm going to paint this drumstick instead. Now the idea of this is to make a nice crispy skin but on top of the nice crispy skin it's going to make our seasoning stick all over the skin that's going to be crispy. There you go, don't miss any. That's that job done. Now we're going to go over with uh, the sea salt, grind this over and the black pepper, there it goes. Then the garlic powder. This gives it such a beautiful flavour, I must admit. And the paprika, that gives it flavour too. But mostly I use paprika because it gives it this brilliant, lovely colour. And then, without further ado, we're going to flip it over and do the same on the other side. But I won't show you all of that. Now we're going to put the drumstick onto these vegetables. Look, I've got carrot, sweet, turnip, onion, nestle it in nicely, add a drop of water. Now with all the juices and the flavouring after the cooking that's going to make a lovely jus or gravy or sauce or whatever you want to call it. So now it's off to the oven, gas mark 5 for about an hour and 20 minutes. And then we end up with this. Doesn't that look good? Look at that lovely colour. It's actually starting to fall apart. Now this is what I'm going to use to make the gravy. These lovely juices that I've got in the bottom here. Just needs a little bit of corn flour to thicken it up. There we go. Cut this into slices. It's not always easy to cut uh, turkey drumsticks into slices. You will find that it's got quite a lot of um, sort of sinews that run up the middle there, run up the sides. But this one's cutting quite nicely. There we go, delicious. Cut right through, it's, it's cooked perfectly, isn't it? Now, I'm serving it up with these. Look, I've got some parsnips, I've got some mixed vegetables, Brussels sprouts, not everybody's choice. I've got some stuffing balls there, roast potatoes, and of course, a lovely turkey, and cranberry sauce, I'm spoiled. Now on with this lovely gravy that I've made. As you remember, it's made from all those lovely juices. And now for a taste test. Oh look, so succulent. Well, come on, get on with it. What's it taste like? Well, that sure is a tasty bit of turkey. It's like Christmas come early for me and I love it. Please try this recipe for yourself. It's so easy, it's so cheap, and we all know I love a cheap meal. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. And if you do, remember to hit the bell too, and you'll see all my future videos, all the ones that I've done in the past, if you so wish. And I shall see you all again next time. Thank you so much again for watching, and bye for now.